In this video, we will guide you through the process of creating a login page on Google Sites. By following these steps, it can be a straightforward task. So let's get started. First, go to the Pages section and create a new page. You can name it something like Members or Members Area. Once done, click Done. Now, this is where users will be directed after logging into your website. Return to the home page of your Google Sites website. Keep in mind that you should customize it to fit your specific website. Next, we will utilize an external website called offpro.com. Offpro allows us to create login and sign up fields, essentially enabling us to run a membership website. You can use their free plan, so click on the Sign Up option. Once you are on their sign up page, choose to use the Setup Wizard to configure your account. Enter your username, password, name, and email. You are not required to enter your website, but you can if you prefer. After providing the necessary information, create your account. Now that your account has been successfully created, you can proceed to the setup wizard. Here, it is crucial to pay close attention as this step connects your AuthPro account with Google Sites, enabling you to use their login features. You will be asked to choose the member registration option, you have the choice of allowing members to register for free and access the members area directly or requiring them to verify their email before accessing. Make your selection based on your preference. Next, a registration form will be displayed. By default, it will ask for the user's name, email, username, password, and verified password. You can uncheck any fields you don't need or rearrange their order. Once you are satisfied, proceed to the next step. Jia in known in in this step, you will need to configure some URLs. Publish your member's area page on your website and copy its URL. Paste this URL into the appropriate field on the AuthPro setup wizard. Optionally, you can set up a different URL for failed logins or unauthorized access. If you choose not to, you can redirect the user to the home page, Jean Alarm main if you have completed setting up the URLs correctly, proceed to the next step. In this section, you have the option to add members to your account for testing purposes. Simply provide the required information, including a username, password, and email. Once you've entered the details, click on Next. We are now nearing the end of the setup process. You'll receive a notification confirming that your account has been successfully configured. However, there's one more crucial step to complete, integrating your website with AuthPro's password protection. To incorporate the login form, copy the provided URL, return to the editor for your Google Sites website, and find the appropriate spot to add the login form. Click on Insert, then select Embed, followed by Embed URL. Paste the URL and click Insert. You can adjust the form's size and appearance to match your website's design. Moving forward, you have the option to include a registration form. Follow the same steps as before, using the provided URL. Please note that this step is optional, as users can also register by clicking the registration link. Additionally, there are optional steps, such as adding password reminders and protecting specific pages within the members area. Finally, copy the provided code for safeguarding the members area. Navigate to the members area on your website, click on embed, then choose Embed Code. Paste the code, which will prevent unauthorized access. Click Insert to finalize this step. Now, you can proceed to your account manager on AuthPro. Please be aware that you'll see a test member created for testing purposes. Once you've finished configuring your account, publish your Google Sites website to make the changes live. Visit your website, and you'll notice the presence of the login form. Enter your username and password to log in. If someone wishes to register, they can click on the provided link and create an account. By following these steps, you have effectively password protected your Google Sites website and integrated a login box. AuthPro ensures that your members area remains secure, allowing only registered users to access its content. We hope this explanation has clarified the process for you.